When a patient presents for sulcular debridement, there's a certain sequence that we want to follow. If we're going to go from the distal to the mesial of the quadrant, we really don't want to travel from the distal to the mesial of each tooth. We don't want to do this because we're going to end and begin in the same papilla. This is going to deliver too much heat to that papilla. So instead, if we're going to go from distal to mesial in this quadrant, we're going to start on the mesial of the molar and work distally, and then move to the next molar, start on the mesial and move distally, and repeat this sequence, mesial to distal. And in this way, we don't ever end and start in the same papilla, and we don't overheat those papilla because that would end up generating too much heat and probably causing some of those dreaded black triangles. And conversely, if we were moving from the mesial to the distal of the mouth, we would start on the distal of the tooth, move mesially, the distal of the tooth, move mesially, and likewise throughout the rest of the quadrant. And again, we wouldn't start and end in the same papilla, and we would decrease the amount of thermal damage that might be caused otherwise.